Welcome back to the Myth Series in Depth. In the last mission we rescued Rurik, or at least one of them, and he will show up again in this mission. The journal for this mission occurs on the next day, so that ends up being three missions in two days. Unfortunately for the Legion, things aren't going to get any better. Here is the journal for this mission. Tuesday, August 26th, between Tallow and Willow Creek. With no small risk to ourselves, we managed to rescue the villagers from certain death. The endless rain and nightmarish parade of living corpses has left an indelible imprint of the events of yesterday on my mind. As we hurried back to Willow Creek, Rurik, one of the village leaders, demanded to be taken to see the mayor of Tallow. When questioned, he offered us little, save that he had important information about the recent grave robberies. Rurik is well respected by the townspeople, so Kuniak chose not to press him further for information. Willow Creek was attacked repeatedly last night. Kuniak stationed archers on the perimeter of the town, and the bowmen were able to pick off the stumbling corpse men as they approached. But there seemed to be no end to them. We have even seen soulless and ghouls skulking about on the outskirts of town. All of us are beginning to worry, including Kruniak. When we departed, the commander left a handful of men to protect the village. The rest of us are headed to Tallow with Rorik. The Legion is no doubt tired of fighting the endless undead horde. As I said, a lot has happened in the last few days. There is a journal image showing the Legion freeing Rurik. Rurik demanding to be taken to Tallow without informing Kruniak of what he is up to makes me think he is a little full of himself. You think he would be a little more grateful for us freeing him. Rurik's flavor text says that he is the head of the Willow Creek Town Council. Well respected by his peers and admired by the townsfolk, he is the head of the town council. Many think he will be the next mayor of Willow Creek. Kruniak seems to me like a wimp to let Rurik have his way, but perhaps he is trying to look good to him to further his political agenda. Honestly, Rurik has no reason to not share the information he has. Maybe he isn't sharing this information so that he can get a free escort to get away from Willow Creek. There is a journal image that shows Rurik making his demands to Kruniak. It is funny how much taller Kruniak is compared to Rurik, and that just makes the situation that much more hilarious. Kruniak stationed some soldiers to defend Willow Creek, but honestly, he should have just completely abandoned the town. There is a journal image showing the bowmen defending Willow Creek against the living corpses. Perhaps he is using it as a military station, since most of the villagers left, or perhaps he doesn't yet fully grasp the gravity of the situation. The journal tells us Golds and Solas have shown up and it is only going to get worse. There is a journal image showing the Golds and Solas patrolling the outskirts of Willow Creek. Now let's jump into the mission. The safety of Tallow lies ahead. Follow Rurik to the town gates. Make sure he reaches the town alive. So here's Rurik. Look at him. Oh, it's a little Watch punk out. in my opinion, but... Um, perhaps he's just scared, you know, because, you know, he's a villager, he's not used... He doesn't know how to deal with this war, so I suppose we should be light on him. So, if you come up here up. right away, um, actually right okay. here. Because what's going to happen is there's going to be a bunch of goals that come down here and they have pus packets and so right off the bat they're probably your biggest threat. There's also going to be a group of thrall that will come down this road right behind where you start and they can kind of walk by you up here so this is kind of your way to deal with these goals and um, get everything taken care of. Okay. Once you deal with the goals, um, the starting area would be a lot better. Yes, taking care of the... Follow me. Yes, sir. Taking care of the thrall is not a problem at all. Okay. Save it right here. They're everywhere! Okay. They're everywhere! Yep. Okay, so... 
Here they come. Oh, that's bad. That was terrible throws, guys. This is a... Yeah, this is... This is a disaster. Let's re try that again. Let's try that again. I also hate it because you're on the... The one bad thing about being in the hill is you can't zoom out far enough. Yeah, that's better. Move over. Stop fast forwarding, James. Okay. Stop fast forwarding because I get impatient waiting for them. So that worked out nice, so we can save that. These thrall won't be a problem. I'll try to deal with some of them. Because the uh, goals took a little longer, some of these thrall got by us. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. We can ignore them. Unless they turn around and come back. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna come up here. And there's gonna be some thrall and solace kind of up here. Some solace on this hill. There's one Solus up here. We let these warriors take care of these thrall. We'll take out him too. Might as well. So. Follow me. Yeah, we'll, let, we'll take out this um, Solus, then we'll go deal with these guys down here. Okay. Move here, move there. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. We want to take out. Well, there's some Solus that patrol these rivers. And by taking out these guys, it's going to be easier to get to them. I think I get a warriors get some kills. There they go. There we go. Okay, so these solas just went by. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come down here. They're gonna come back eventually. So, but I want to kill them now because this is the easiest place to kill these guys. Because really the the solas are like the biggest threat on this mission other than those goals we've killed at the beginning um, to getting any deaths because really they're all are easy to kill you know you can just run away from them so they're gonna come right down here so I'm gonna put these satchels down so that way when they kind of hide behind these trees we can kill them that's good enough and notice these archers I'm gonna put them kind of down at the side, because if okay. these 
um, doors are hiding behind this tree, and I put them here. They're gonna, because of the hill, they're gonna shoot the doors in the back, so. Let's save it here, and then we'll kind of pass forward till they get back. Oh, too fast. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but it worked. Then I got those doors parked behind the tree. Did he actually... He actually got... He got one through the tree. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyways. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. There might be a straggling, um, solace up here. Okay, there's actually, um, okay. We're gonna fight some Thrall up here and a few goals. So these goals do have plus packets. So they're, those are the only real threat here, so. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How do they still have eight satchels? Move over. Move over. Is that a glitch? Move over. Move Move. Oh, yeah. oh, perfect. That was such a good throw. And my warriors get some kills, you know. Your order, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that! They're, look at all these kills they're getting. Yes, that's that's yes. that's absolutely wonderful. Okay, so yes. come down here. Hello is this way. We see some. We see some. Some frogs. Just chilling on this little rock. But we're gonna kill him because if you kill them all, you unlock the secret mission. Well, that's that first frog took like three arrows and didn't die. He's got some. He's got some. A lot of mouth. Yeah, a lot of health for a frog. All right, all right, we did that. Okay, so. Next, there's going to be, when you cross this um, kind of river, yeah. it's going to be we? some some thrall in here. Actually, I didn't think about that before. Is this, this could be the wild yes. river. Yes. Yes. Oh, well. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. We're going to lead them back here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so bad. Hundred and eighty one. I was wondering if he'd be at um, two hundred and fifty five yet, because he's got so many kills, he's gotta be I was like he's gotta be close. I know every time I come here, one of these peasants is already dead. So, like, the solas have already come through and killed everybody. So, part of me thinks if you come faster, that maybe you yes, can sir. save them. Yes. Got it. Okay, so... Yes, let's talk about this. So, there's going to be some thrall that come out of here from behind us once um, we lead Rurik up here. Oh, they're already coming. Oh well, we'll deal with them real quick. That's fine. For some reason, Rurik is going farther ahead than he normally does. Normally he like stays back here with you, but whatever. No big deal.
Okay, no big deal. Actually, so what we want to do is we want to bring these archers over here. It's the enemy. Okay. Yeah. There's a reason I want to do that. I'll, I'll explain in a second after I kill this guy. Okay. So. Oh, there's another one behind. Okay. So if we lead Rurik, if we lead Rurik to the the gate, there's gonna be a bunch of enemies up here. By the way, right from the it's the gate up here. You can see all this blood. There's already battle up here. They're all there's gonna be a bunch of enemies. I don't follow them. Oh well, he let he led some of them this way. That's all right. Well, we can deal with them. This is actually works out fine. What I want to do is um, sneak some soldiers up there, the archers, and just shoot out the thrall in the back that are sitting outside of the gates. Because once he gets up there, the gates will open it, and then we'll get control of the units in there, and we'll have to like keep them from killing any of the soldiers inside of the village in order to get no casualties. And so I don't really want to do that. This just makes it so much easier. You see, there's all the thrall, so we're gonna get a bunch of experience for our archers. You could also probably bring your doors up, but they already get like so many kills that I really didn't see the point. Yes, sir. I really haven't been using my fire arrows much. Could probably just use them to here just because if they run into the grass again. Ready. Come on, shoot your fire arrow. I told you to. Oh, you know what? I, th I was hitting R instead of T. Yes. We'll get through this a little faster. Look at those archers, they're getting pretty dang accurate. Sweet. Get some easy experience for our archers. Just got inside of the gate. Like you, they wouldn't target him, that's weird. Okay, we're good there. So what do we got? We got 21, 27, 39, and 34. So we got some nice experience. Okay, so on legendary only, right? Okay, let's save it real quick. On legendary only, like we could, okay. Kind of in this big circle. Um, well, there's some goals that will spawn here. Um, they'll spawn if all our units leave kind of like this big circle right around here. So if we send all our units towards the gate, they're going to spawn and start running down this way. And they're going to attack us in the back. And so there's a lot of them, so they're kind of a pain. But so what we could do is leave one unit back here and just bring Rurik all the way down here and not even face them. Or what we could do is send the units down and then kind of set our warriors in the back to take care of the goals to get them some experience. That's what I want to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
So eventually gonna spawn. Right there you see him. Yes, sir. Yes. And we'll take care of him while we lead Rurik to the gate. Open the gates! Warriors just they're way better than goals. So we get some free some more experience for them for free. If you like kind of come across here too fast and have the thrall coming this way, thrall coming that way, and then the goals too, it can become pretty difficult. So you do, you can get control of these units. I don't know, maybe if we kill all these units, you don't, but. You can see some of them are vetted. Well, no, actually, none of them are vetted. They just got kills in this mission. Okay, never mind. They just got they just killed some of these thrall. We're moving. Got it. Yes. Yes. And that's pretty much the mission. Got it. So that's that's a very easy way to play it. So 24 kills for the warriors. That's a lot of kills. This is a easy level to get some kills for your warrior, just like in the first level. So you know you can take care of. Take advantage of that and get some veterancy on them. The windscreen shows Rurik talking to the mayor of Tallow. The mayor looks very interested in what he has to say. You will have to wait until the next journal to find out what he is saying though. If you compare the mayor of Tallow to this image in Willow Creek, he looks completely different. Is this a goof up in the game art? Can't be though because Bungie never makes mistakes. The last screen shows an image of Rurik being dragged off by his arms. Again they are capturing Rurik and not killing him, so they must have some purpose or information he has or something of that sort. Notice how there are no captured legion forces in the image. The image of Talos closed gates is in the background, so Rurik made it very close. Perhaps Rurik knew that the undead wanted him for some purpose and he was demanding an escort out of fear of his own life. Oh well, the game doesn't really expand on it, so it's all theories. If you leave Rurik behind and send some units too far ahead, the gate will be open and there will be an invisible wall not letting you into Tallow. As I showed you in the mission, there are three frogs in the corner of the map that will unlock the secret mission if you kill them. If you listen closely, they say Soul Blight Tur. Soul Blight Tur. This is a reference to a couple of old Budweiser commercials. Bud. Bud. Fines. Bud. Bud. Fines. Bud. Err. Bud. Fines. Bud. Err. Fines. Bud. Bud. Fines. Err. Bud. Fines. Err. There are some deer in this mission that are wildlife we have not seen yet. Here is the deer flavor text that you can only access through the tag files. Second Era Tradition tells of a deer rising in the east who ate the yummy green shoots and ivy and leaves that had dominated his land for time beyond memory. We will see a lot more deer in the next bonus mission. In addition to the deer, we also have the hawk, and here is his flavor text. While still shell and yolk, the hawks were most vain about their color and round shape, spending the eve of hatching beneath a peregrine rather than an empty nest. Sadly, the frogs have no flavor text of their own. There is another sign in this mission that looks a lot like the one in the last mission. One of the directions says Ramirez, referencing the Blungy employee. Juan Ramirez. The other two directions are Willow Creek and Tallow. I couldn't figure out how to activate it, but there is a peasant by the barn that can say, Chickens attack! Chickens attack! Let me know if you know how to get him to say this. I looked in the map scripts and couldn't figure it out. If Rurik dies, you hear, Rurik has been killed, and you bastards, which is a reference to Southwark. Rorik has been killed. You bastards! Oh my god! They killed Kitty! You bastards! Oh my god! They killed
killed Kitty! You bastards! Oh my god! They killed Kitty! You bastards! In the mission, sometimes Rurik will panic and say, They're everywhere! They're everywhere! This line that Bungie reused originated in Marathon. This voice was done by Doug Zartman, who was the head of marketing at Bungie. He currently works as a community outreach specialist at EA. Dave Bowman was a level designer for this mission and put a note about his wife at the end of the map action scripts. Thanks to Joanne for being patient during this long, sleepless process. I'm very lucky to have someone like this in my life. We all thank David and his wife for his long hours and sacrifices working on this game. Up to this point, the Legion doesn't have much of a plan, and is just scrambling to get by. This will all change in the next mission with Rurik's message to the Mayor. See you then.